Hi guys! Today on Divas Can Cook, we are making easy creamy coleslaw. This recipe comes together really quick and it's really good for those picky coleslaw eaters. So, let's get started! Okay, we're gonna start by grating our cabbage. That's just fresh cabbage. I'm using like a half a head or so. Let's go ahead and grate that up. This is like a really good workout. For the pieces that were too small to grate, I just went ahead and chopped it up with my knife. Okay, now place this into a large bowl. And don't forget you guys, as always, you can find the recipe on my blog at divasandcook.com with a ton of other recipes, so go check it out. Okay, now we're gonna grade our carrot. I'm using just one carrot. Okay, just grate that just like that. Now we're gonna add in some onions. I don't like a lot of onions in my coleslaw. What about you? I don't like a lot, so grate that onion up and then just place that into the bowl with your cabbage. And if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that stuff like that. I really appreciate it and it helps a lot, all right? Okay, so we have this all mixed up and combined. Now we're gonna work on that dressing. Okay, there's all our dressing ingredients, yum. Okay, I'm gonna add my mayonnaise into a large bowl. I'm using Dukes because y'all, I am loyal to the South, okay? Southern cooks use Dukes, but you can use Hellman's as well. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Isaac is helping me, so bear with me. A little bit of buttermilk in there. And I'm gonna add some white vinegar, okay? All right, now I'm just gonna add in a little bit of sugar. You may need more or less depending on the type of um, mayonnaise you use. Some mayonnaise are really sweet, but Duke's is kind of a vinegary type mayonnaise. So go ahead and stir that up until it's creamy and combined, and then just pour that right on top of that um, cabbage mixture and give it a toss. I said toss, give it a toss. And now add in a little bit of salt and pepper to kind of bring out all those flavors. This coleslaw is kind of sweet, it's crunchy, it's like perfect, it's so good. All right, now just go ahead and place this into a bag or a container, whatever. Now you can let this sit in the fridge for a couple hours. Overnight is best, and that's it, you're done. Go ahead and serve it up with your hamburgers, your hot dogs, your fish, it is the bomb. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. You can get it at dewiskincook.com. Bye.